what's up YouTube so I'm here doing um uh we're gonna do um a knife uh, well, I'm gonna call it cutting the cutting edge and it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a, a like two or three different episodes like tonight I'm gonna run through today I'm gonna run through um, my knives um, and then maybe on Monday or Tuesday I'm gonna do another one on the um, on my axes so so yeah it will just be all stuff that's cutting edge that uh, can cut whittle chop cut whatever so let's uh, get down to business I'll show you my knife collection now and then we'll uh, I'll give you a little preview of my axe wall and then we'll go from there sounds good sounds good the next knife is this tracker knife the mask is still on there a um, couple rosettes pins uh, not rosettes but I forget what they call them pretty cool knife I kind of got that one for looks I did a review on it but uh, yeah and this here is the knife that Jerry made for me Jerry's wood shopping outdoors he made this um, I sent him the wood he made me a blade that was a trade but uh, yeah so at the end of this I'm gonna announce something and we're gonna uh, we're gonna um, the next knife is a SEMA SEMA OS8 still OS8 you see that OS8 right there um, a couple of spacers some brass spacers in there pretty cool nice jimping right here and up up on the blade and then some back here on the the spine of the knife um, this is also a SEMA um, 7CR17 MOV this is called the SEMA 1 this is a cool knife it's got Marquetta handles handles on it Micarta handles on it cool blade it holds an edge great it's good steel I mean I, I like this knife and it comes with this it's not card kydex but it's a plastic that's to simulate that got a good belt belt clip on it metal it's a cool blade I like this one a lot this one I uh, I did I seen a, I seen a review that a guy did about this knife and what it is is they tried to say it was a full tang, but it's just a rat tail. And it's, it's just like this big. The guy broke it the first time he batoned with it. Um, it came with this, this sheath right here came with this blade. And the blade's not worth a crap, but the sheath is, I mean, it's really, it's a really nice sheath. Real thick leather, leather good welt in there good finishing on it the 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 sheath was worth the 15 bucks that the knife that i paid for the knife um this here is a grand way and uh, this is uh 420 stainless steel um this is a cool looking knife it's got it's not a full tang again it's uh this is a, a rat tail tank. It screws into this, unscrews, and the blade is attached to that. So it's not a, I don't know what they call that. 
but so there's that and then there's the beast the beast of all beast this is <laughs> I don't even know what this is it's stainless in China but well, look at that thing isn't that thing bitching I mean just cool looking it's the Defender Extreme but uh, the first time I used it I broke it somewhere oh right there I broke the top right there I was batoning something and <laughs> it, it broke but it's a cool looking blade that's why I have it just kind of a novelty if you will okay Skipping on to the Moras. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six different Moras. Uh, this is a Mora Companion. Um, this one is stainless steel. Stainless steel. Got a fire steel with the glow in the dark. Fire steel. This is my first Mora I've ever bought. And um, my second Mora was this one. But look how much... Look how much I I use this knife. This is the 511 basic, and this one also is a 511 basic. Look at the blade difference in between the this black one used to be the same blade as the 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 yellow one. I mean that's how much I that's how much I've used this black one. I mean sharpening it and stuff. These are both carbon. Yeah, these are both carbon carbon blades. But that's a crazy amount of metal I've taken off of that black one. Huh? Wait, I mean, that's crazy. Um, I pack these knives every day, so this is my this is my EDC. This yellow one is now because I re I retired this uh, little black one, but. Uh, so yeah, the yellow one is my uh, packing knife. I got a Mora Robust. Oops, sorry about that. Got a Mora Robust, which is um, carbon steel also. Uh, another Mora Companion with a fire steel wrapped with um, paracord. Uh, the Mora Bushcraft Black. Um, I sharpened it to take out the black paint off the edge, so it, it, it came to me not very sharp. This is carbon also, you can see right there. Um, okay, going on to hunting knives. So, my hunting knives are these all right here. So, we'll start off with this one. This is a... Nice of Alaska. Um, I bought this at uh, Sportsman's Warehouse. It is uh, D2 tool steel made in the USA. It's made in Texas. Um, but this is called the Elk Hunter. Uh, good, good knife. Uh, super sharp. Holds an edge for a very long time. Hard to sharpen though. Yeah, I mean that that tool steel is is hard but it's got a nice finger choil up front you can really get in there and, and slice away as you're skinning them um so there's that i love this knife this one runs about 75 dollars um again it's the uh the knives of alaska the bush or the elk hunter another knife that i like that actually holds an edge Holds an edge, is sharp, and is great. This is another Elk Ridge. It's a gutting, gutting skinning knife. Uh, I actually used this this uh, this fall for the bow hunt when I downed my deer. I gutted this and skinned him out, quartered him out right there on the mountain. Packed what I could, or packed all everything that it was there. So. That is actually a really good blade for the for the price. It's an excellent blade. Here are some uh, this this these knives come in a little pack of 
uh, like in this. Um, kind of got just a regular blade right there. Uh, just kind of a normal regular blade. I'm, I'm not sure what this what this one does. Um, if you guys have any thoughts on what what you use this for, just leave it in the comments. Uh, another little skinning skinning blade. Um, like I said, these fit good in the hand. There, you, you can get in there. It's got good jimping on them. Um, nice little skinning blade right there. Um, and and this one, I'm I'm guessing is skinning blade also. It's got a place for all your fingers, so it fits in there, real good. Your thumb up on top and just sit there and slice away. Uh, it's good. Got a good sweeping belly on it. That uh, that uh, yeah, it's pretty good. And then another little mini blade normal cutting whatever um I, for the for the price i paid for these was about 28 dollars. the fit and finish on them is is beautiful i mean it's perfect i mean it's all polished i mean it's just amazing on that I, for 28 dollars five knives in a in a case I haven't used them yet, so I don't know if they can hold an edge, but maybe. Uh, up to my small knives, my uh, my neck knives and my my uh, my pocket knives. We'll get into those. This is a little neck knife from um, um, V Tech. So it's a little blade, got a little jimping on there. It's got uh, plastic. I put this little ball so when I put it in my hand, that ball is right there, and I can, I can, I can slice. Comes with a little not again not markita mark markita, but it's some kind of plastic that has good retention, locks in there real good. So yeah. Um, these two this is a uh, open ale I got two of them number eights um, this one I have a little carrying case that I just uh, slip on my belt um, I use these for uh, food prep um, but yeah yeah, I use these for food prep. So they're, uh, I uh, this one I broke the tip off on it. See it right there? The tip I broke off, but, uh, but they're nice little food, like, uh, cutting a steak. Cutting steak, um, good for that. Um, this is a little Smith & Wesson, uh, pocket knife. Uh, I keep this in my bug out bag as a backup knife because uh, I have I have this in my this uh, green forest green, or fluorescent green uh, companion in my bug out bag and I have this one just as an as a, a secondary blade um, I, somebody gave it to me for Christmas it's not that great of a knife it's it's flimsy doesn't hold an edge but it would it would do good for i mean if i mean if you need if you didn't say you lost your knife or something you got an extra one you know what i mean um this one right here real quick flipper this is from tack force um <laughs> the funny thing about this one is it was a it was a relatively cheap knife but this knife is little enough. I don't like pocket knives. I I don't like stuff in my pockets. I uh, so I can't. But this one is little enough. If you can see, it's the size of my finger. The size of my finger. And uh, so 
I will pack this one once in a while if for some reason I'm not if I'm not uh, wearing this one I will substitute it for this one but uh, that's kind of a yeah a secondary and this piece of crap don't ever buy this Kubri Kubri this thing is dangerous and I keep it to to uh, let people know that this is a dangerous knife it it it's it's broken it broke the first time I used it the lock sucks it doesn't lock up see that about took my finger off did it cut me a little bit right there but it's dangerous I mean I, I mean See what, see what I mean? It just... This is a piece of shit. And then I got this... Old timer when I turned uh, 8 years old. Got this from my father. I've had it ever since. I am now 41. So I've had this a long, long time. And from what he said, he got it from his dad. So, I mean... I don't dare sharpen it. I just kind of like to keep it just the way the way it is. But yeah, it's an old timer. Just an old timer. Okay, so moving on. So here's my axe wall. This one right here. Doing that, I'm not doing the. I'm not doing. The, I'm just giving you a preview of of my axe wall. So next next week, I'm gonna run through these, show you what I've got, show you what I don't have, what I do want. I can tell you, I want another Grand Force Brooks uh, Scandinavian axe. That's my next one that I will be buying. So guys, so that's it for for um, for for the cutting edge, the cutting edge. That's what I'm calling this series, the cutting edge. It's kind of kind of catchy, but whatever. Um, we'll I'll go through my um, all my axes, tell you what they are, what I've done to them, where I where I've got the axe masks from. Um, so yeah. Other than that, we're pretty set. Um, so until then, it's been real and it's been fun. It's been real fun. We'll talk to you soon.